How to make an orthodontic retainer. For fabrication of an orthodontic retainer, a Urquidur 1.5 mm foil is used. Since this material is so thin, you will need to block out any undercuts and deep interproximal openings using Urco gum. Tear off a small piece of Urco gum and mead between your fingers. When it is soft and pliable, flatten it on your workbench. Using a waxing tool, pick up a small amount of the Urco gum and apply it to the inner proximals of each tooth. Also block out the lingual anatomy of the interiors. Fill the thermoforming pot with granulate, about three-quarter full. Embed the model. Finish filling the pot until full. Place the granulate cover sheet over the model. Apply a liberal amount of Isolac to the model. Place the thermoforming pot into the pressure chamber as shown. Go to the touch screen and select the correct material to be formed. And press continue. Take off the foil lock ring and load the Urquidur foil spacer label down. Press Start. You will then be prompted to turn the foil ring under the heating element. The material will begin its heating cycle. When there are 10 degrees left in the cycle, a series of beeps will be heard. No action should be taken yet. When the enter temperature has been reached, a continuous tone will sound. Turn the foil ring over the model and down. Press slightly to thermoform. The cool down timer will begin automatically. After the cool down cycle is complete, remove the foil lock ring and remove the foil disc. Brush off any loose granules and remove the granulate template cover. Using the twist drill, in a slow speed handpiece, begin cutting away the disc from the model. In the facial area, cut right at the gingival line. In the lingual area, cut just below the gingival line. After cutting all the way around the device, cut two lines from each corner of the model to the edge of the disc. Now you should be able to break away the extra material from the model. Remove the device from the model as shown. Using the cross-cut carbide, taper the entire outside edge. And inside edge of the retainer. Next, using the Lisco S disc, smoothen all edges. How to make bleaching trays. First, using the Isolac isolating material, paint the model liberally with the solution.
Then, if incorporating reservoirs, paint each individual tooth with a thin amount of Urco skin. Set the heating temp for Urcoflex 1 mm. Note, if you are using the semi-hard bleach tray material, use the Urcoflex bleach setting on the second page of the list of foils. Place the foil frame under the heater. When the audible signal has sounded, move the foil frame over the model and seat it to thermoform the tray. Remove the tray from the model and begin cutting your desired dimension from the Urcoflex material using the special scissors. If you wish to carefully trim around the gingival areas, the twist drill should be used. Note how easy it is to trim around the gingival areas. After the twist drill, use the Lisco S burr to smooth and polish the edges. The Urcoflex 1mm material can be used with reservoirs or without. How to make multi-layered laminated mouthguards. First, embed the model into the granules. Cleaning the granules away, be sure to expose the vestibule area. Place the model pot with the model into the unit. Once the points are lined up, the model will engage into the centering plate of the unit. Place the UZF spacer on the model side of the thermoforming disc. Put in the disc and reattach the foil securing ring. After heating, thermoform the first layer of 2 mm Urcoflex. Remove the model and trim as shown using the special scissors. Place the model and secure it in the reception pot and fill with granulate. Add the granules and be sure to condense underneath the model. Then place the reception pot back into the thermoforming reservoir. Place the opposing model in the holding plate and tighten. Then loosen the upper holding plate screw and place in centric position. When in place, tighten the screw. Release the support pin and open the bite 3 millimeter.